so for years in our community in our rap history and um a lot of our fashion industries you know we as black people represented louis vuitton to to a high to, to a high standard rapping about it singing about it showcasing their their clothing here and there and you know but would you wear louis vuitton after hearing this now again welcome to the tico billy show in the late 1800s france and france had an agriculture site <clears throat> jardin tropical devoted to a uh, cultivation of plants from the country's vast empire showcasing madagascar Indochine, Sudan, Congo, Tunisia, and Morocco. In uh, 1907, the Gardens Fair became part of the Paris Colonial Exposition and hosted recreated indigenous villages from the colonies where uh, life represent was like there, what, what, what life represented there was like. Uh, such recreations might have been uh, in conscious thoughts of the way they displayed the human being. Each village was populated with a colonial subject who being engaged as performers yet were little more than exhibitions themselves. The performers were given costumes to wear as they performed nonstop for the audience. Their costumes only authenticated um, what they offered, which was little protection from the elements surrounding them. Uh, terrible living conditions, foreign diseases, and cold killed dozens of, of the performers, who were then buried in gardens. The grounds of the fair now sit in a state of uh, eerie despair, a site of quite shame for the French. 1904 St. Louis World Fair. Human zoos were uh, not merely a product of the of the old world. North America had its own. The St. Louis World Fair in uh, 1904 was international exhibition in, Mis in Missouri that uh, consists of uh, world fairs of the time. Was an entertaining spectacle for the people, as well as means of promotion for their products and their new industries to come. The event boasted a variety of display, including a 260-foot Ferris wheel, a pavilion made of corn, and a number of scale living exhibits, living exhibits, people, including uh, recreated uh, Filipino villages and innovative of the U.S. government in the Philippines. The fair featured a 47-acre area of more than 1,000 Philippines from dozens of tribes. One of the most popular exhibits was a Igorot village, an ethnic group persevered as uh, the least civilized of those on display. An audience success uh, gained revenue from this attraction, and it was said that has surpassed all of the other, other villages combined in revenue. Um, this exhibition featured indigenous people in minimum clothing and who could often be found eating dog as an audience clamored for a better look, for a better look, which they surrounded around them while they ate dog, like scruffy. <coughs> this is crazy. While the eating of the dog was sensational, curiosity for the Western audience, it was also a uh, misrepresentation, of course. The Igorot did eat dog, but only for uh, ceremonial reasons. Yet during the seven months of the fair, dogs were fed to the Igorots daily. The tribe... The tribe's people also perform infrequent uh, sacred rituals such as crowding a chief as daily entertainment to their delight of the uh, par parasol spinning audience. Okay, now, even into the middle 20th century, the practice of human zooms continued. In 1958, the World's Fair in Brussels featured a Congolese village and boasted a picture that became um, an embalic, embalic, emb basically a phenomenon for that time. A young African girl, Western dress, she's fed by outstretched uh, white hand of a Patreon, and I'll put that picture up there. Luckily, in 1958, the exhibition in Brussels seemed like an outlier. Interest in human zoos had won, uh, had won and the events uh, of motion pictures started to take over. Able to uh, set their appetites for foreign lands via silver and small screens. And by the uh, time of the Brussels Fair, the notion of human zoos was largely considered distasteful and had been banned in most countries. Um, 2014 now, also celebrating the 200th anniversary of country's constitution, two artists staged a recreation of the uh, the Congo Village, a popular prominent uh, exhibition of Norway's World Fair of 1914. Now, <clears throat> this was funded by Louis Vuitton. How do you feel about that, people? And also, they took all the seeds out of our fruits and put them in Norway. These things originated in Norway. Just a little food for thought. Like, share, and subscribe.